Hello and welcome to another video of PyPad Mathematics. I'm Professor Lamb and, and what we have is we have an app here called Number Pieces and it helps model base 10 blocks and, and how base 10 blocks can help early learners of mathematics understand the concepts between adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, uh, and then modeling whole numbers and decimals based on their value or the the place value that's that's put onto our numbers and our numerals and our our symbols that we use in the in the classroom so this video is going to be a little bit about division uh, division using base 10 blocks to help students understand the concept of uh, dividing a a number up in into equal parts uh, partitioning if you will um, uh, or or dividing it up into parts. So, you know, just to, for illustrative purposes, let's just say, you know, we have we have 300 and we want to take 300 and divide it by 3. Well, that means we're just going to make we're going to make three equal groups of 100. So, the idea is 300 divided by 3 is going to be one of these. How much is in one of the of the equal groups? And the answer is 100. Well, what if we had the number 333? Well, 333, let me go ahead and kind of put a divider up so that we can see this visually. We're going to make three equal um, groups. We're going to take this I'll take this and so we start by let's with our flats we're going to divide it by three meaning that we're going to break it up into three equal groups so one flat will go here one flat will go here and one flat will go there and then one long will go here one long will go here and one long will go here and then one unit maybe will go here one unit will go here and one unit will go here and once we've divided we've taken everything that we had to start with and we have divided it up into our three equal groups then we can find out how many is in one group and that becomes our answer where well, we have 111 so 333 divided by 3 is 111 well that's real nice and that's clean because we use very good examples or easy examples to divide by 3 the true question is going to be well, what happens when we don't have clean numbers that divide by three or ones that don't work out as nicely as we just had uh, so let me make one we got how about 400 and uh, well, 68 so we have that's five so that's six and two three four five six seven eight so 468 well I got 468 and what I want to do is and I need to divide 468 into three equal groups so we make our nice little three down here <laughs> whoops and you know when you're teaching with this app you can do it in time or you can have it already created if you want. I, I, I like the the teaching moment, if you will, of us of, of trying to divide it out and, and playing around with the app. You little bit learn a little bit more when you're doing that. So I have 468, and I need to divide it by three, or I'm wanting to divide it by three. So when this happens, is we take our flats, and we have one flat goes here, one flat goes here, one flat goes here. But I got one left, and because I don't have enough to go into each group, then this needs to be divided up. It needs to be broken down. It needs to be um, kind of regrouped. And now I can take my 
longs and start placing them one in each group and again we're sitting here with one long left over and I need to break it up because I only have one and it needs to go in all three places so I need to break it up and then we take those units and we move them into each individual box And now this one comes out nice and even. So now we've taken all of our blocks, 468, and we've divided it by 3, and now we record what's in each of our sections. So that's going to be 100. We have 5 longs, so that's 50. And then we have 6 um, units. So 468 divided by 3 equals 156. Uh, so here's one way that you can use base 10 blocks to help model the division of your whole numbers. And there is a connection to this and the, the division algorithm, the long division algorithm that we utilize. And uh, Marilyn Burns does a very good job of illustrating that. Uh, and it helps bridge that gap between the concrete, which is this, and the abstract, which is our long division. So uh, this is another video by PyPad Mathematics, and I'm Professor Lamb, and I appreciate you watching.